Hi everyone, thank you for watching Logayata. You can post your chemistry related questions in the comment section and I'll make a video solution for that. So in this video, we'll be seeing that how can we calculate the bond order. Normally bond order is defined as the number of chemical bonds between two atoms chemical bonds between two atoms now if we consider n2 molecule so the structure is actually n triple bond n so it means that the bond order is 3 right so because there are three bonds between the two nitrogen atoms so if we are given a subjective exam then uh, in that case for uh, to calculate the bond order you have to first draw the molecular orbital diagram okay and then you need to calculate bond order from there so normally bond order is calculated as half of number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals minus number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbitals but in, uh, in an objective exam you don't have much time to calculate by first drawing the molecular orbital diagram and then calculating this so there is a trick to solve that but this trick only is only applicable for the diatomic molecules or ions okay diatomic means two atoms it might be same and it might be different okay now let's see how to apply the trick so if the total number of electrons is 14 then the bond order is 3 but if the bond a total number of electrons increases like it becomes 15 then it is 2.5 16 it is 2 17 it is 1.5 so it's decreasing by 0.5 factor and similarly if we move above that is the total number of electrons is decreasing like 13 it again start decreases for 13 it is 2.5 for 12 it is 2 so it's again decreases by a 0.5 factor so you just need to remember for 14 total number of electrons the bond order is 3 okay and apart from that uh, if it decreases or increases the total number of electrons decreases or increases you can calculate it from the uh, this one okay by changing a 0.5 factor now let's see an example the question is which of the following is the correct order of bond order of the given species and the species are O2, O2 positive and O2 negative. Now if we calculate the number of electrons for oxygen there are 8 number of electrons. For O2 it is 16 and for O2 positive it means that it has lost one electron so it's 15 and the total number of electrons for O2 negative is 17 right so it has gained one electron now we need to see that what would be the bond order for o2 which has 16 electrons so from here you can see that for 16 the bond order is 2 okay and for o2 positive the total number of electrons is 15 so the bond order is 2.5 and next is for o2 negative that is 17 electrons it has bond order of 1.5 so you don't need to uh, draw the molecular orbital diagram and then calculate the number of electrons uh, you can just directly do it from here now you can see here that for o2 it is 2 so it is lesser than o2 positive and the least is for o2 negative so the correct option is the third one so O2 positive has the highest bond order out of these three species. Now let's see another example. Now in this question, the bond strength increases in which of the following transitions? Now you will say that we were talking of bond order from where did this bond strength come from? So actually the bond order is directly proportional to bond strength. Okay, so because for single bond, energy required to break will be lesser and for double bond it will be higher and for triple bond it will be highest right so it is directly proportional to the bond strength and the bond order is inversely proportional to bond length 
okay so if for a single bond the bond length is the highest and for the double bond it will be lesser okay now let's see this question for co it's changing to co positive so let's see how does the bond strength changes for co the number of elect total number of electrons is 8 plus 6 that is 14 for co positive it is 13 right so it's changing from 14 to 13 means this one so the bond order is changing from 3 to 2.5 right so in this case the bond strength will also decrease okay now let's see for n2 for n2 also the total number of electrons is 14 and n2 positive also it is 13 so again it will be 3 to 2.5 so here also the bond strength is decreasing. Now let's see for O2. O2 it is 16 and O2 positive it will be 15. So let's see in here. So it is going from 2 to 2.5. It means that it is increasing here. Now let's see the next one. For O2 it is 16 and for O2 2 negative. It means it has gained 2 electrons. It has changed to 18. Now here the bond order is changing from 2 to 1 right so the correct answer is the third one so for this option only the bond strength will be increasing as bond strength is directly proportional to the bond order similarly you can also solve the questions for the bond length okay but remember this trick is only for the diatomic molecules or ions. If you want to know how can we calculate the bond order for the resonating structures, there is a trick for that also. Comment below and I'll make a video for that.